Hi, uh, welcome to Leap.com. That's L E E B.com. And uh, please sure to come by and visit our website. We have a free report that we've just published. And if you sign up for our free market forecast newsletter, we'll give it to you. Uh, it's all about inflation and how to protect yourself against the upcoming uh, inflation that we believe is going to happen pretty, pretty soon. Um, so the markets continue to send mixed signals. And um, the good news is implied by the impressive rally that commodities has been contracting by still a weak economic uh, data. The, the real recovery seems to be underway in China, though. Um, it's triggered by a strong stimulus action. Uh, property sales and, and, and huge car sales. I think for the first time they've sold over a million cars and uh, investments are definitely on the rise. Oil has been doubling from the lows. Uh, copper is now at the highest level since uh, since October and most other commodities are, are likely uh, acting the way because of because of China. The third the world's third largest economy is is still the world's biggest growth driver and uh, its consumption of uh, commodities is accelerating. The biggest danger to the U.S. recovery is interest rates, which continue to move higher. The 10-year Treasury bond fell again today. Their, their yield uh, increased to the highest levels since November. Uh, higher rates are bad for the recovery's prospect because uh, they raise the cost of borrowing, and, and, and not only for housing, which uh, makes the most of the headlines, but uh, also for business. Uh, concerns about the U.S. government's uh, record debt are causing uh, U.S. debtors to uh, seek diversification. Russia and Brazil have both said they will begin to reduce their dependence on the dollar by buying $20 billion worth of bonds from the uh, IMF, uh, International Monetary Fund, uh, diversifying their foreign currency reserves. This, this will bring more pressure on the greenback and today's sale of $19 billion of the uh, Treasury bonds, part of a $60, $65 billion sale, drew a 3.99% yield. That was uh, far higher than the government was hoping and it was uh, among uh, the triggers to send the Treasury prices lower today. Uh, another leg of a record pace decline in U.S. Treasuries. So that's it for today. Come by tomorrow. And again, please drop by our website, leap.com. Hope you have a nice day.